Good morning. Happy 2009. This is the first reflections of the new year. And actually, I learn most by what I learn from myself. And I pay attention because it's what I teach, and you teach what you most need to learn, of course. And heading into Christmas and into the holidays this year, uh, I was in a particularly great space. But I found as the days went on, and um, for example, my husband had lots of time off work. We were together a lot more. My, my work had slowed down. And I found, we found ourselves, but in particular, I found myself um, back in a loop, back in the same frustrating loop where we either we don't seem to be connecting, we're, we're triggering one another, and what's this about? And it, it just got worse. I did what I knew how to do. I looked into myself. I thought, okay, it's all about me. And I could identify patterns, and I could understand where it came from, something with my mother or whatever. I could, I could get all that, and I could feel better for a little while. And then a day, an hour later, boom you know, I'm back. I'm back in the loop. And I know this happens to all of you because many of you speak to me and I and I, I know that I call it repeating the loop like Groundhog Day. We go round and round and round until we change our, our response. And that's where the quote comes in. Between being stimulated and responding to the stimulus, you have a power place there. But even more than a power place to pay attention, okay, am I going to respond the same way? Are we going to get into the same back and forth argument? Or am I going to do it differently? And so I was doing it differently and wasn't working so well. <laughs> and I found myself getting really angry. And as I traveled that back, I finally reached the place where I need help. Uh, and I called in a really good friend, and he sat with me and, and with my husband. And mainly this was about me. I was having much more trouble with it than he was, my husband was. And as, as my friend kept asking me questions, and I, I gave the logical route, which is just what I explained to you, and then suddenly he asked me a question. He said, are you afraid? Are you afraid of Mark's response? And I started to cry. And I thought, well, why would I be afraid of Mark's response? The whole idea was foreign to me. Anyway, I traced it back. I traced my pain back to the root of my fear, which I won't go into detail here. But let me say uh, the root of my fear involved what happened 20, 25 years ago in, in my past marriage. And I had so, I was so on my journey then, I'd so leaped into the higher perspective. I had so shifted it, I never even gave that incident that, that this pain took me back to a thought, rarely a thought. And yet, come to find out, my little girl was scared to death. She was still hanging on to it. And no matter how many times I tried to shift that pattern between the stimulus and the response, uh, I seemed eventually to loop my way back. So the point of this reflections is um, it's not so simple as a packaged little way you do it and this will work. We, we have to, we're here, we keep trying. We are, we are recreating a whole new matrix. Uh, one little way to do it isn't going to uh, handle it. We're going to have to keep exploring. We're explorers. We're exploring our spirituality, ourselves, our emotions, our relationships, and we're realizing how deeply they go. And each thing takes us more pointedly toward our purpose here, our healing here, and what we're here to do. So for 2009 and from now on, uh, let's not get in the trap of thinking because we can figure out uh, we can handle it and it will change, yes, but you have to get to what's causing it deep inside of you. And what's causing it deep inside of you is most likely very unconscious. So we're working on this layer, this layer, and this layer, which we're understanding, but we have no idea it's connecting to so much deeper. So in the space between a stimulus and a response, not only you have a choice, on how to shift it and change it at that time, you also have a doorway. 
a doorway to go deeper into yourself, a doorway of exploration. So uh, this Monday morning, Find some of your doorways by looking at your loops and paying attention to, as I often call it, the space between the spaces. The space between a stimulus and a response is very similar to the creative space between an in-breath and an out-breath. Uh, in that poignant moment is all the power in the world to um, take out your magnifying glass. So have fun being the detectives. Don't let it get you down. It's so fulfilling when you get the next deeper place and onward you go soaring until, of course, we run into our loops again. So have a great Monday, and I'll see you again next week.